Hey you guys, it's Marty Gagan. In this video, I have an unboxing and hands-on look of the latest Roku Streaming Stick Plus that was announced this month and also released as well for $69.99. The reason it's $69.99 is because this one is actually 4K and HDR compatible. Yes, sir. Uh, keep in mind, this was actually sent to me by Roku so I can try it out and make a video for you guys. So thanks a lot to Roku for sending me this so I can try it out for you guys now keep in mind i i cut the cord like almost two years ago and i've been using the apple tv and i've been using the old roku stick uh which is this one right here which was sent to me last year and i've been using it a lot in my room this is my number one device in my room and it's awesome besides the 4k and the hdr is that the control actually has voice remote and the volume buttons are also on the remote control it also has a an advanced wireless receiver that gives you four times the range so if you're living in a house that you're having a little bit problems with your you know signal or you have a huge house with a lot of rooms uh this might be the one for you here you guys the mind connect to wi-fi streaming stick uh what's in the box here the roku stick um double triple a batteries but you know what let's go ahead and show you guys what's actually in the box and take this out for the first time right there and here you got the stick take this out first for a second and show you guys what's in here here you have the instruction manuals which is honestly this is very simple to use or and to connect so i don't think anybody's gonna have a problem with that you got the power adapter here and you also have right here on this side this is the advanced wireless receiver i'm going to take this out so you guys can have an idea how it looks there it is. This right here is an advanced wireless receiver. And what's going to do is, of course, boost the signal four times more stronger that you should get on the normal Roku. Uh, and this cable right here, you can actually use it to connect it to connect your Roku stick and connect it to your USB uh, port on your tv that way you don't you know you don't need to connect it to the power and every time you turn on the tv and so on so on it'll actually you can actually control the power using the uh, the button over here which is pretty damn good and i'm obviously going to test that see if it actually works for real and here you got a an extension usb cable there you go look at that and uh, you got your triple a batteries right here and of course here is the remote let's go put this to the side um, this remote looks awesome you got the microphone button right there and here right here you have the microphone right there you got the power button home back button this is you know normal uh, you got the back button over here as well or the reset button you got this right here media buttons right there and look at that you got netflix hulu sling tv and playstation view that's awesome that it has the playstation view there one of my favorite cable uh tv apps which is really really good and of course it's cool that this actually has the two most popular in my opinion the two most popular uh live cable tv apps I, in my opinion are sling tv and playstation view really good that it has that and of course here is where you have the volume button so there you go you got the volume button right there which is really convenient because a lot of times you know that sometimes no not sometimes most of the times when you're watching a a show on youtube or something like that and you switch to another video there's like different levels of volume and a lot of time i find myself um you know going crazy to find the tv um remote to lower down the volume now i don't have to go crazy looking do, looking for a remote because you have it right here this of course is the one that i was using before so you can see the differences there um this has this, the netflix the sling tv amazon now you got hulu here and Google Play, but now you got PlayStation View. So I think these are better options right now. Of course, it would have been great to have Amazon here because it's another service that I use a lot. But you got Hulu, which is, I think it's a little bit more popular than Amazon Video, don't you think? So here is the stick. There you go. There you go. And there you go. This is how it looks. Like you see there, very nice, shiny color there with the roku brand right there who looks pretty damn cool here you have a little led light right there 
you got the part um the, the usb port right there that's like a micro usb port and there you go serial number and all that and over here you actually have the roku brand right there which looks like a button but it's not a button <laughs> pretty nice so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna set this up with my tv and come back with the second half of the video okay guys so here we are back again with the second half of the video i already finished doing the initial setups for my roku stick and i already did install some of my favorite applications as well and what i did was i i plugged in the roku stick directly to the tv using the usb port available for the tv which i recommend you guys to do it as well but if you don't have one or if you don't want to you could just use the available cable and connect it to the power using the power adapter and that's it but that's the way i actually connected it here to my tv keep in mind when you first install this application or the roku um, it's actually going to tell you display type you know to identify your display like you see right there in the bottom it says detected 4k hdr at 60 hertz hdcp 2.2 that's awesome so right now of course all you got to do is when you get the the alert just press auto detect and it will automatically detect your tv and like see there it's gonna um, automatically choose the best um settings like for example on my tv it shows 4k at 60 frames per second 4k protection hdcp 2.2 and 4k hdr at 60 frames per second it says this hdmi input is capable of playing videos at resolution up to 4k hdr there you have it so go ahead and press ok auto go to automatic and that's it right here is going to tell you hey does the display looks good or not just press yes it looks good and that's it that's all you have to do so the roku actually uses the best resolution for your tv keep in mind your tv might not be hdr just 4k so it might not say hdr if your tv is just 4k and doesn't have the hdr but in my case like you see there awesome i got 4k with hdr using the new roku stick plus which is awesome and of course here if you use roku before um everything here in the settings is basically the same make sure when you after you finish your initial setup make sure you actually go and do the update uh there was an update available that it wasn't installed right away so right here make sure you click right there system update click right there check now make sure you do that and it should automatically show you the latest update available there just go ahead and do it right now like see there is running software 8.0.0 and that was updated a couple days ago um, and of course you can restart here as well um, here of course you could change the theme as well if you want for example i like this one right here which is the decaf it looks pretty damn cool it's basically like a leather looking background but there you go look at that how cool that looks that looks pretty damn awesome right so you can leave it like that or you could change it to whatever settings you want if you use roku before you're gonna be very very familiarized here with the setting there's nothing really different or special here in settings um of course here you got the home which these are all the applications that i have of course and uh, the cool thing here of course is that when you press the volume button like you see here i'm pressing the volume button for the control you can actually control the volume here on the tv and that's a huge advantage because a lot of times you know if you use roku before or smart tvs before you know that a lot of times when you switch between applications um some apps are a little bit more louder than other apps and if you're watching tv late at night um sometimes we were like going crazy looking for the tv uh remote so right here you have that control in your hands right away which is a huge advantage of course we also have the mic right there the mic button and the microphone is up here as well so if i press the mic show me tom cruise movies it will go ahead and search for tom cruise movies right there i could also use the mic to say open netflix there you go it opens netflix right away there you go james franco there you go 
So you got all the movies from James Franco. Now, one thing to keep in mind, it will not actually tell you like um, smart things. Like, for example, the weather. If I try to ask for the weather, show me the weather for today. You know, it's not going to actually do that. The voice control works perfectly good if you're just searching for specific movies. Like if I search for Lord of the Ring movies. Click there. Boom. It will show me all the Lord of the Ring movies available right and if i click on one of them i can actually see all the locations where this movie is actually available i can also follow this movie as well but you can see right there all the movies available and how much they cost in in different applications which is nice that's really convenient okay so here on the latest sling tv app i really like because it's the latest sling tv app version and i actually like it a little bit better than the version on the apple tv because it's a little bit more uh it's it's fast you know it's fast but it has a couple features that i really like like for example if you've been watching more than one channel and you press the middle button right here right it'll show you last channel right and if you press the last channel button it will automatically return you to the last channel that you were watching and it switches really really fast that's something that is actually not available on the apple tv version which i'd really tried a couple times and i couldn't find it i couldn't make it work on the apple tv version so for me that's pretty cool that um it has that option right there i couldn't like i said i couldn't find it on the apple tv and it changes really fast like you see there rogue um sling tv uh, it's been a while I haven't used it, but now I'm trying it again, and it has been really, really good. I like all the updates, and it runs really fast on the Roku stick. Um, it doesn't matter if you use the old Roku stick or the latest Roku stick, but it runs really, really good. So I, I don't think you're going to be actually disappointed if you try uh, Sling TV here on the Roku stick. So like you see there, you got the options for my TV, last channel information, caption, you could turn it on automatically, last channel, it'll switch to the last channel right away. If the channels are in 4K or something like that, it will automatically show them in 4K, 1080p, whatever resolution they are available. So that's pretty damn awesome. Of course, I've been using all these applications right here, Amazon Video, I could say OpenCW, It'll just go ahead and open CW. So, like you see there, the voice controls are actually really good on this Roku stick, um, which I think is totally worth it. I gotta say, for $69.99, you're getting a Roku stick that actually has 4K and HDR compatibility. The remote control is way better. It has the volume, volume button and the voice command as well, which is really good. But remember, if you don't want to pay the $69.99 and you, and you have an old TV and you're not planning on upgrading, uh, you can actually go ahead to the Roku store and buy the old Rokus or buy the cheaper Roku. I think they have the one which is similar to this one, but it doesn't have 4K or HDR. And I think it's around $49 or $39. So, you know, that's one thing to consider. I actually have the old version from last year, which works pretty damn awesome. I really, really like it. And um, I don't, you know, I don't regret it. It's really easy to use. So right here, I didn't show you guys this section. It says my feed, uh, my feed. You can actually like follow movies or follow TV shows. And you're just going to see it right there, like updates and news. You got the movie store from Fandango. You could rent movies from there. Uh, you could rent TV shows. Uh, news section is pretty damn cool. The news section is basically um, today's news and videos. And these videos, are from like youtube or aol and there's good quality as well trending here here you have a whole bunch of categories and these categories they change a lot depending on the time and the date you're watching these categories so keep that in mind as well if you use this before you already know what you're getting yourself into uh, search you got stream channels this is where you're going to be downloading all your channels there there you go. So you got all the channels here right there, which is really easy to download. If you never used this before, just press right there and add channel and it automatically is going to start downloading the channel and your channel is going to be available. You see there channel added is going to be available automatically in your home screen. Uh, here you got 4K UHD content. 
So right here you have all the applications where you can actually watch 4K movies or videos. Like see there. There you go. All these. And of course, one thing that I almost forgot to show you guys is that Movies Anywhere is available here as well. So if you have uh, Movies Anywhere and you link like Vudu, Google Play, and all your other movie accounts, all your movies are going to actually appear here, which is really damn cool. It's really convenient having everything on one same spot, which is nice. So it doesn't matter if you have movies from Google Play, iTunes, or Vudu. They're going to appear right here. Plus, you get you get this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. All these five for free. You get all these movies for free for just linking your accounts. And that's not bad because a lot of these movies are new, like Jason Bourne and all that. This is it for this video. I just wanted to share this video with you guys. Uh, just to let you know that the Roku Streaming Stick Plus is out there in the market already. I'm going to leave a links in my description. That way you can buy it from there and help my channel as well. And like I said, very, very awesome experience here. If you use Roku before, it's basically the same great selection of applications and performance. But with 4K and HDR, it also has the advanced uh, Wi-Fi amplifier, which amplifies the signal for by four times. And of course, the remote control has volume and the voice controls, which is also a really nice touch to have another nice feature to have on hand. So guys, and that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Like I said, links are on the bottom and till next time, guys.